Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana, but on here I like to go by The Modern Sim, and today I will be showcasing some of my favorite creative sim creators. Now before we begin, I would like to say that if you like my videos, especially this video, I suggest you follow me on TikTok and my Tumblr, which are both The Modern Sim, and on my Tumblr I reblog some of my CC finds that I eventually end up putting in my game, and on my TikTok I give sneak peeks of things that I'm working on and videos that will be released most likely later in the week so if you're interested feel free to check that out now at the end of this video i will be sharing a few tips on cc shopping and finding your sim style and things like that but without further ado let's get into my cast favorites now before we get into my cast favorites i do want to discuss a couple of mods cast mods that i have in my game i don't have too many i think i just really only have three but the first one is the standstill in cast mod by Mizuruki, I believe that's what it's called. Basically, it makes your Sims stand still in cast. Like only time they'll move is if you hit like the traits and things like that. But other than that, once they finish animation, they go right back to standing still. Now the second mod that I have in my game is actually a cast lighting mod. Now off the top of my head i do not remember what the name is called but i will pop it on the screen here but essentially it brightens cast and then removes like any weird lighting to make the lighting more neutral and lastly i do have a cast background installed in my last cast video i was using a background by l craze who no longer makes cast background but they have a plethora of backgrounds that look like that or similar or just like have a certain theme that if you want to go check out i will still link below because they still have all their stuff up honestly i got tired of looking at that cast background and i didn't want another um one that had a bunch of stuff in it. i just kind of wanted a blank one but this background is by shaw sims and this is in the color cornflower i used to have sweet pea but i wanted a little bit i wanted something a little bit more purple because purple is literally my favorite color also it just fits the theme of this channel so I went with this one and they also do have like a bunch of different colors like they have like different shades of green pinks browns like you can if you if you're looking for a certain shade like you can most definitely find it now moving on to the actual cats i don't have any body presets in my game nor do i have any sliders actually do i have a body preset i don't have i don't use any body presets it's yeah, I don't. I, I, I removed it, but I don't have any body presets in my game, nor do I use any like sliders or anything like that. I pretty much just use what The Sims gave us, and uh, yeah. Before we get into hair and clothes, I want to go over my skin details. I do have a quite a bit of skin blends and skin details in my game. Oh, oh, I also I forgot. Now I'm looking at the what's called. I also have one more mod in my game, and that is the more columns mod i only chose three because i i have a lot of cc but i don't have too much cc where i need like four or five columns like i'm i'm fine i'm fine so the skin details i've been using a lot recently is the northern siberia winds ones these are like the um the cartoon ones but i really enjoy these skin blends because they add like another like amount of richness and depth to this to like the sim that i really enjoy but before i started using those skin blends my first couple of skin blends that i downloaded in my game was the ones by Lamatis. so the one that she is we wearing right now is the strudel skin blend and it doesn't have that many like variations but it's one of my favorite skin blends like it's one of my go-to skin blends and then the Mercur mercuria sorry the mercuria one i don't use this one too often and this one also has like ones to make like older sims so it looks pretty nice but i'm gonna use this one too often i believe i used this one on my criticism video i like tulip because it has like tons of different variations and i mostly use this one on my um male sims i don't put the same skin blend on every single sim like it really just depends on like the vibe i'm going for and then like what the skin like the sims like natural face looks like without any skin blend so there is that and put this back on you because i'm not liking it okay so moving on from skin blends and into skin details i also use this here it is i don't know exactly what it's called like what it's literally called but i basically use this skin detail that adds like shadows to the face so as you can see like 
it added a shadow on her neck and into the other side of her nose as if like the sun or light is hitting this side. The name of the skin detail is called Spotlight by Sim Mandy. I believe that's what it was that's by. I actually got this skin detail when I was downloading some pre-made Sims that other Simmers made and they had this included in their cast and I was just like, oh, this is like really nice. Other than that, I would have never knew about this but now ever since i've downloaded my game like it's it's a staple i put it on every sim so i also use okay Roo's miscellaneous details and basically what this does is like add extra things to like the sims face as you can see like it added some shadow to her lip um this gave her like a what is this called like a a mouth dimple i don't know what that's called like a the cupid's bow this one added a cupid's bow there's ones that can give your face more your sense face like more structure i actually kind of like this on her it's actually kind of cute or nose shading more nose shading i use this one a lot for the nose nose shading and then i'll also use it for dimples and so and i one thing i like about this um these skin details is that it adds like an intensity so like maybe i want a sim with like deeper dimples and but maybe i the next in my career i just want them to have very light dimples you know what i'm saying like barely their dimples moving on to edges now one thing i will say about using edges in the game is that a lot of hairs or at least a lot of the hairs that i that i download in my game nowadays they come with edges and i'll show you that in a minute when we get to my favorite hair when they don't have edges and like maybe the hair just looks just a little bit weird i'll add either these setsuki edges and it just adds a little bit of shadow i think which one was it that i had on her earlier i think it was this one but it just adds just like the slightest bit of edges and a hairline it this is really for like more hairlines and then if i wanted more like just regular edges i might i use these ones from seed production and one thing you'll notice is that sometimes creators cc hair creators they'll have like edges on like the picture they take to showcase their hair and then you download the hair and it doesn't have edges and and you'll be like um i wanted it because it had the edges so that's why i just went ahead and just downloaded a bunch of edges just in case moving on from that last but not least my final skin deal i do use is these this is Moo Blush by Squeamish Shims. And essentially it just adds just a little bit of blush to the face. Now I use this blush on pretty much all my Sims, even my, my male Sims, because as someone who loves makeup, one of my favorite parts of makeup is blush. I just feel like it adds such depth and dimension to the face, it livens it back up. And I feel like sometimes with the skin tones that, um, ea gives us which i don't have any um additional skin tones i just use the ea skin tones but the skin tones that they give us like can look a little dull and dead and i just feel like you need a little bit of blush to like bring the sim back to life you know what i mean but pretty much that's all of my skin details i actually forgot that i do have a couple of eyebrow and lip presets i use the eyebrow presets by twisted cat just the one she had on and then i use these by chewy butterfly i just downloaded these in my game but i really like them i've been creating a lot of sims with these eyebrows they're like i think they're called like soap brows or something like that i don't even really use the max's eyebrows like that because they just they be like really thick and stuff like that and i don't like that but these eyebrows are really nice now these are also from northern siberia winds i don't always use this because i don't like like the the ones that show the teeth i don't want to see that but yeah the, those are northern siberia i also have a few twisted cat ones majority of the time i will say i do just use the ones from ea but if i'm looking for a specific type of look that i want on my sim i will use that and then these these lip presets are also by chewy butterfly now for noses, I only have one nose preset and that is also by Chewy Butterfly and I just downloaded this one but I think it's cute. Like I feel like I kept using the same noses so even though I, I know what nose I like, I want to switch it up a little bit for specific types of sims. So I normally use the Kijiko eye eyelashes but sometimes I use this one from Twisted Cat. 
these are their i think they're 2d lashes or i'll use these ones from oh my gosh i don't even know who they're what they're called i don't even know what eyelash i gave her i'll just put those on her because those are cute but anyways that is it for face now let's move on to hair now as you can see down here i have a couple of sims and i mainly did this so i wouldn't forget some of the uh, cc credits that i had or had to like continuously scroll to find a specific cc creator that i'm talking about but first we're going to start with one of my favorite ultimate favorite cc creators and i i don't think they've been putting out cc for too long at least at least cc hairs for too long this hair is the Aaliyah one and it's by gg sim and i just oh my gosh this hair is just so beautiful and funny thing is that like when i jump into a new save and i like let's say i don't i don't have any pre-made townies in the save this is the one hair that keeps like spawning with all of them and it, it, it it's a cute hair don't get me wrong it's a cute hair but i'm tired i'm tired so i have to end up making a bunch of townies and, and delete another ones this is one of my ultimate favorite hairs but they have tons of hairs that are like more natural hairstyles that are like just so cute like though we have a lot of diversity in hairs now a lot of the hairs that when i first was starting my cc journey wasn't given black girl friendly um but these hairs really are and they are so cute like you cannot tell me these hairs don't eat but like I was saying, oh, and this is this goes back to what I'm saying. So you see how her, her hairline is just a little bit weird. And that is because this creator, their hair actually comes with edges. So depending on what hairstyle I know I'm going to use for my sims, decides whether I am going to use edges or hairlines. See, you see how much better it looks without the hairline that I added? Moving on, one of my other favorites is actually by Sim Celebrity. The best way I describe their hair is like very sleek. This one is actually the one that I put on Raven. If you see my moving on, my last moving on episode, this is the hair I actually had her in in, in the thumbnail and then when she went out with the girl. And these are some of the other ones. This is Raven's default hair. This is what I was using at the beginning of the moving on series. I don't have too many of their hairs in my game, but the ones I do, like they serve a specific purpose. Another one that I love so much is Aretha, Aretha B. Aretha B also makes clothes, shoes, and accessories. So we'll, I'll also be showcasing those things. But one thing I do love about them, their creations is their hair. Like, especially this hair. Like, when I first downloaded it, it had me in a choco. Like, every sim was wearing this bob. Like, you can't tell. Me. Like, look, look, look look at it look at it like it's just so cute especially these two like these are so cute now green llamas is the first cc creator that i ever added to my game and i've been rocking with them ever since like look at these hairs like in my eyes they can literally do no wrong especially this slasher hair like oh it's just it just it's just a vibe it's just a vibe and i feel like they have a great amount of diversity with their styles this one was my first ever like textured hairstyle that i added to my game like it's just i love green llamas so next up we have sims trouble they have so much like variety this hair also had me in a chokehold Like these are so nice. And I also like the fact that they give you variation. That's one thing I love about Sims Trouble is that they will give you like four different variations of the same hair and you won't regret it. One of my favorite parts of Cass is hair. And I don't know if it's because I am a black woman or what, but I feel like hair really shapes a person and it tells you a lot about who they are as an individual. When I'm making my Sims, I'm very intentional about the hair that I pick because I feel like it's just a reflection of them. You know what I'm saying? So next up we have Marigold. Now I don't have too many of their hairs in my game. I only have three, but like I love, love these hairs. Like they're just so cute. 
Like this is so cute. I've been looking for a lot of like shorter hairstyles for the ladies. I've been wanting to do like a couple of sims with like short hair or like even shaved hair. So I've been using a lot of masculine hairs. Next up we have one of my favorite black girl friendly hair creators and that is Shea Butter. They create tons of hairs that are like locks and twists and braids and like all the different hairstyles that black women do. And I just love all of their hairs i will always always put these on my sims especially like it's like a vacation oh they can put some twists and some braids in their hair like i'm going realistic okay next up we have okay rue and i know it seems like i only have like one okay rue hair but i don't i have more than that but this one is actually the one i just recently downloaded in my game i feel like as for like diversity of like different hairstyles they really do have like that diversity like this one if you've been on sim tumblr recently you might have seen this hair like all over everyone's pages because it's, it's just like this little curl this little curl eats it eats love this hair like it, the edges on it just oh gosh you like this hair just so cute next up we have okay okayo okio i don't know how to pronounce this creator's name but i love their hair this is so cute let me zoom out just a bit ponytails i don't have too many of their hairs in my game but a lot of my sims especially my teenage sims they'll be wearing these these hairs oh and then last but certainly not least i am or i'm the cat vakai or vakai as you can see i have a lot of curly um, afro hairs in my game like i have a crap ton you know these types of hairs but i feel like i just be needing some more like wavy curly natural hairs and so and so i just really love these hairs they also come with edges this one is look how look at that like the vol the volum the volume what the i about to say the velocity the volume there you go the volume look how i love big curly hair in real life so i think that's why like my sims they be rocking the curls you know now moving on to clothes creators of course we have to start off by mentioning the one the only sin tate like oh my gosh and then they always are putting out cc every month and it always has like a vibe or a theme and i just i love their cc like oh my gosh and then they, of course they do collaborations with other simmers this one is one of my favorite and then they also have like a large variety of colors and all other things and their stuff is like honestly so cut Ooh, i don't think i've ever seen this swatch this is nice i use them a lot for like formal wear sente they just they just know what they're doing they just know what they do and they have a vision and they execute it every single time i love sente like you oh my let me get let me get off him because i could spend a whole video on sente but anyways green llamas of course we saw the hair but they also do make a lot of clothes, tons of skirts. Like this is so cute. That is Green Llamas. And then moving on to Aretha B. They have tons of dresses. I use their pants all the time. Like these are staple jeans that I put on my Sims all the time. Here are some of their tops. And like they have tons of swatches on their stuff that really like feels like you can customize it. So though you may have like, oh, this seems like very neutral things. Like you can use these items a billion different times in a billion different combinations because they have so many swatches. I they're honestly a staple in my game. And here are a couple of their skirts. Next up we have Rusty. And I don't have too much of their stuff in my game, but these are like staples in my game. Like these are just so nice. Like I can't remember what collection this one is from, but they make a lot of like regal clothing as well. Like so if you're into like first lady or like um, monarchy clothing and things like that, they also make a ton of like dresses and stuff like that that fits that vibe tons of swatches so you get that like versatility now moving on we're going into more of alpha cc i love matt's match clothing but 
I started to want to find like a different look for some of my CMCC clothing and I wasn't finding it but I was finding it alpha CC style and so I was just like okay so I just went ahead and downloaded a couple pieces and then I just I never stopped and one of those creators is baby tears they have so much clothing I love their tops like this one is a staple this one is so cute and they have like tons of swatches as well i will also shout out corka sims because i discovered them pretty much around the same time like i started doing i started downloading a bunch of baby tears stuff and then i found corka sims and downloaded a crap ton of their stuff as well so these are some of the cute items that I got from them. The next CC creator that we have, I actually don't really know how to properly pronounce their their name, but I'm gonna go with Busra TR. They have tons of sets that I just I just live for. Like I, I love. I honestly would have more of their stuff in my game if it wasn't on the Sims resource. Listen. Their stuff is really good, but I don't like the fact that it's actually on the Sims resource because Sims resource, if you haven't been on there, essentially like everything you download, you have to wait 15 seconds before you download it. Sometimes I just don't feel like waiting an hour to download like everything I want. They make sets, however, it's under different listings. So you'll have to download the top and then download the bottom on a separate page. The next CC creator is Rimmings. Rimmings? They make so much amazing CC. Like if I'm looking for like a more of a bougie sim, like I'm using their clothing. Like this sweater is so cute. Like they make so much amazing items. Another CC creator that I love their stuff is actually Bella Allure. This this knit dress oh my gosh like so cute i think this is a part of their um equestrian collection and like look at this like do you do you see this do, do you see this like their dresses are so cute this bathing suit it's like a it's like a denim bathing suit but look at it this i don't know how to put this on every sim but this fits for a specific type of sim that i was creating so that's why i had to download it but now moving on to shoes in the game the people that i use the most is the shoes that come with Sintate's collections like they're just really nice shoes boots i don't download too much shoe cc but i do download a couple of Madeline shoes especially these these are actually my favorite shoes by them like i just love a good pointed heel it's just it's something about it but the cc creator for shoes specifically that i go to is gs and last but certainly not least i want to go over some of the makeup i have in my game so as you can tell i'm obsessed with twisted cat is the mirage set i'm like i love colorful eyeshadow especially for like my um party outfits for my sims like i'll definitely put like some nice colorful eyeshadow on another one that i also use for eyeshadow is cryptic sim like that is so cute i use the liners from chewy butterfly for like if i'm doing like a cutesy look or whatever i'm not sure how you pronounce it koisemetic or cosmetic i don't know what it is but i love their eyeshadows for like neutral looks so I, I just want to put a little bit of eyeshadow on a sim and i don't know what i want i'll just use that and then maybe i'll like adjust it to be a little darker now for lips my go-to is either the twisted cat stalker lips and it's just a nice simple lip and it looks like it has like a natural lip liner to it or i'll use these the pudding lips my another one of my favorites is the honey gloss and cocoa gloss by urban sim this one for like a nice nude moment you know like you see these lip liners by peachy fairy and they come in a variety of swatches so i have this one on and then i have and i just put this one on underneath it 
and it just makes the lip look a little bit more complete now it doesn't work with every lipstick like this one just doesn't look good it's because the lip is like outlined for a certain type of lip type and that's sometimes something you have to be wary of is like what lip type did the, the creator make it for because sometimes it will just look really really weird one of my favorite blushes that i use additionally is this one by msq sims and it's just so i think it's like the peanut blush i think that's what it's called but like it's so cute and then they have like the variation you can do highlight versus no highlight cc accessories i do have a couple of earrings by otis um and then i have some rimming earrings as well and then whatever just pretty much whatever comes with up uh a cc set so that's like the jewelry i'll use but anyways guys that is all of my favorite cast creators at the moment but before i end the video i do want to give you guys a couple tips regarding finding cc when you're entering the world of custom content and you're seeing all the stuff that you can add to your game and especially if you're looking up to other sim content creators and you're seeing their like cc collection and you want to emulate that don't feel like you have to download all the cc to be just like the sims creator especially if you see like how much cc they had some of those creators have been building their cc collection for years and some of those creators also have, have a laptop or a computer that is specifically built to handle all of their stuff so don't, don't feel down if you feel like oh i can't get everything that they have or they recommend because you, honestly you don't need it another thing i would say is that find what you like and what is your play style if you know you're gonna play with like very cottage core sims some of this stuff you don't need some of this stuff is just irrelevant for you to have because that's not the vibe you want to play with you'll see certain things that you might like that other creators have like in a sense like put you on to and that's great that's amazing but there's lots of stuff that like you don't need to have in your game there's going to be so many creators that are going to recommend so much stuff to you just because they recommend it doesn't mean you have to download it i've downloaded a bunch of stuff that I'm like oh like such such and it looks so cute in her game and stuff like that and then like i put in my game and i'm like i don't really want this and that kind of brings me to my next point of get rid of unwanted cc sometimes especially if you have a disorganized mods folder it can be a hassle that's why i recommend things like the curse forge app the mod manager app that like lets you see what you have in your game so you can like get rid of it and things like that but don't keep unwanted cc in your game because like first of all it's taking up a space for stuff that you can actually download and have your game that you actually want another tip is to not download the entire set if you only want one item and what i mean by that is lots of these cc creators they'll have like sets and they'll come with like accessories hair and shoes and and clothing and whatnot and it'll be like so cute but like you'll only really want that one hair that comes in this set okay don't feel like you have to download the whole set there's hairs that i have that are a part of sets that i will never get but I just wanted that hair. You know what I'm saying? It's like, don't feel like you have to download the entire set. And last, but certainly not least, don't be afraid to switch things up. Of course, know what you like, but also don't be afraid to like explore different options. I know I love Max's match clothing and I have tons of Alpha CC creators in my game, whether it's I have their whole catalog or just like a couple of pieces in there, but I love their stuff. And if I was so close minded to just like, okay, I'm gonna to stick to this style or this style, then I wouldn't have that diversity in my game. I'm personally a simmer who loves to have a little bit of diversity in their game. Don't be afraid to branch out into other avenues because you can find out that like, yeah you like this but you like this even more and if you had stuck with just this one thing like you wouldn't even found something that was even better than that so and there's no battle between alpha and max's match if you like max's match hands down and that's it then you like max's match if you like alpha cc and you stand by it then stand by it. if you like max's mix like i do then go for it like stand stand 10 tails down on it but like don't be coming for nobody because they have something that is kind of like maybe the opposite of something that you have or whatever that is all of the tips i have for you today if you guys enjoyed this video my cc favorites don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share some cc creators that maybe you personally love that can open my eyes to some more cc creators because i'm always in search i'm always in search for some more cc creators but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye